So you were um, being treated with morphine and other major opiates. What was the feeling like versus what it's like treating yourself with cannabis? I was taking 27 different pharmaceuticals. I was on an intravenous morphine pump and most of my medication was uh, administered intravenously. I was basically a vegetable. I had a colostomy, I had a catheter, I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself, I couldn't shower by myself. By using alternative treatments with cannabis oils, cannabis juices, within 90 days, I was not only able to walk, not only able to walk and talk again, but I'm working full time and have a number of companies that I work with and represent in developing products to treat cancer. So, can I ask her? That's amazing. We oh, we have some video of you, Cheryl, during one of your many hospital visits. Let's take a look at that. So I'm here. My back is really killing me, and I can't. They can't give you the pain medication. They've had me on morphine here for several days. You got me in the wheelchair. That's my gallbladder over there and liver. I really want to go to the hospital. I miss my dogs. I miss being home. I'm tired. So I hope that we can get to the bottom of everything. And I just want everything to be over because I'm just kind of tired of dealing with all this stuff. I guess I'm not as tough a cookie as I thought. Uh, you look like a different human being. <laughs> you know, it makes me so sad when I remember those times because I was ready to die. I was ready to die. And now you're 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 helping <laughs> this family. Can we can we talk about? Treating a seven-year-old, is it the same thing? Because it's, you know, a, a child that we're talking well, about? Well, here's the thing about cancer. Cancer doesn't discriminate on age. <laughs> you can be 52 like I am, or you can be seven years old. The bottom line is these, these um, patients need treatment, and cancer I've found, and a number of people found to be not only an effective uh, treatment, but it saves lives. It saved my life, and that's why I've dedicated the rest of my life to being an activist, to working in this industry and helping people. And I know you've learn. brought a bunch of yes. stuff here to show us, educate yes. us all. Yes. 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 ways in which we can use <laughs> medical marijuana. Okay, well, here's my Martha Stewart of marijuana time. <laughs> All right. Um, most people, when they think of marijuana, they think about the ground herb here. Um, this is not real marijuana, but um, this is what most people think of. They think of a joint mm -hmm. or a pre-roll or a dube or what have you. They pull it out of a dube tube and then they smoke it. However, cannabis today is a multi-billion dollar industry. It's a $1.7 billion industry, and what people don't know is you can juice cannabis, you can use it in oils, butters, tinctures, so anything that you cook with, you can do cannabis-infused cooking. This is a great example of some edibles. You can make cookies, brownies, lemon bars. Those look good. They're really, and they're delicious. They really are. And I am a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> But what's happening, and you've seen it all over the news, 60 Minutes was just talking about the industry. It's a $1.7 billion industry. Uh, this is some samples of some medicated chocolates. The packaging is fabulous. These are some hard candies. And then if you want I to- I do have a little bit of a sore throat. <laughs> <laughs> This is the latest vaporizer. It's called a Canaseg. And this product basically is an e-cig for cannabis oil. And what I like about it is anywhere you can use an e-cig, you can use this. I don't even know what an e-cig is. What's an e-cig? Electronic cigarette. Okay. See, there's just a slight bit of vapor. And there's no marijuana in there right there's now. No, this, I put peanut oil in it just for the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great because it's the same oil that cancer patients use. It's the same... Uh, oil that uh, Michaela uses, I use, and it's a much healthier, effective way to use cannabis, and it's very discreet. I, I always laugh because I keep mine right here in between Thelma and Louise. Thelma <laughs> 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 <I'm> and Louise. <laughs> so you, does Michaela smoke this? No. No. She, how, does she, how does she get her medicine administered? In a capsule. She takes it in a capsule form. Uh, she takes 0.5 grams twice a of day. The, of the oil? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Well, one thing I have to tell you, this company, I, I have talked to them, they have agreed to donate 15% of all their profits for Michaela's health care. That is, that is wonderful.